Welcome to the Critic Court, the YouTube experience where we're asking and answering the question, should you watch a particular film or TV show? Now, up to date on the docket, we have the new Peacock TV series, the new rendition of the movie, Take. Now, before we get into the plot of the series, let's first talk about the cast. Give us who's in this cast. The cast is a cast of nobodies. You have Scott Grimes, you have Elena Ubach, uh, Max Burkholder. Don't know. Uh, Georgia Wiggum. I, I, these people I have never even heard of. Uh, now, did you know the star of this is, of course, Self McFarlane? Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's very star. important that, the he is, one. that he's voicing the, you know, the voice of Ted. But it's got me asking a lot of questions with Kev. I'm just, I don't mean to take it here, you know what I'm saying? But, but where the black people at? Okay, because. You know, my, my people mess with bass, fictional bass, fake bass, okay? We, we mess with smoking or the Bernstein or the Three Little Bass, the Coca-Cola Bass, yes. Yogi back in the day, uh, the Polo Bell. We, we mess with bass, so why we can't, why we, why, where we at, Sam? Because she ain't did that for the black since the cleaning show. I, I don't want to take it down. I don't want to take it down. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, where at? Where we at? Where we at, Ted? Theodore, where are we at? Okay, now let me get into the plot, okay? Yeah, come on, man. Now, this series plot is a prequel to the movies, okay? So remember now, they already gave us two movies, and we're going to talk about the success of the two movies. Yeah. So this series is going to take place in 1993. This is right after Ted had, had his moments of fame, and he's now coming back off of this, so he's kind of a failure again. We're going back to Massachusetts, where he first meets John, and they're having a high school experience together. Now, that sounds like a pretty decent plot, especially when we're talking about a prequel, but we got to ask the major question. Well, is Mark Wahlberg? Mark, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for you in this project. Yeah. I hope you have some type of affiliation yeah, with well, this he project. Don't, he don't. Because, uh, well, I don't think Self alone, even though I trust Self just. We mess with I, I do. We I mess do. with him now. We but mess I, with him. I, I, I just don't know about that. And the seven episodes have me worried. That is definitely something we should be worried about. The fact, y'all, they only gave this seven episodes. Yeah. Now, you know it's a lot of competition out here. Seven episodes is just, it's not enough to get us hooked and then to get this a season two. No. I just don't think that that's going to be enough. Now, I know the series is going to premiere January 11th. Yeah. I believe I'm hearing from some insiders that we're supposed to get two episodes after 7 of January 11th. So. But what I've also heard is it's going to go down in terms of the first episode is supposed to be supersized. So I guess it might be 45 minutes to an hour. But then after that, each episode after that is only going to be 30 minutes. Now that, 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 see, you know, see, so mm -hmm. that, that feels a little bit lazy. Yeah, because that's going to be 22 minutes. Yeah, when you fact in commercial breaks and everything, you see what I'm saying? I don't so it's know, like, it feels kind of like you too. Yeah, it's like, now, come on, y'all, should y'all have done this? Now, yeah. let's talk about the success of the 10 film. Now, the first movie, Ted, okay, starring our boy Mark yeah. Wahlberg. He's the both of them. Hey, Mark. He's he not going to see this. I don't he know. might. He, he's not. All right, now the first movie, it ended up grossing $550 million. Now that's a lot of money. That's, that's half a million. That's okay, that, that's half a billion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was a good movie. Came yeah. out of nowhere. We didn't never seen anything yeah. like that before. It back Ted, the life. You know what I'm saying? Ted was making that bread in the first one. Yeah. But then we got to talk about Ted 2. Okay, now Ted 2 didn't do as good as Ted yeah. 1. Okay, yeah. Ted 2 only ended up making around $216 million. That's, that's, a, lot. Lot. that's a lot of money. But it ain't 550, no. okay? By my math, 550, 216, 215, yeah, that's, a, that's a gap there, okay? Yeah. So now the question must be asked, is Ted still gonna make that bread? Ted one made that half a beat. Uh -huh. Ted two was a quarter of the beat. Ted the TV, you know what I'm saying? Our okay. advertisers gonna advertise around this. Now one good thing that I did see, it is gonna be all right, okay? So they're not gonna okay, give us that PG-13. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Say they're gonna keep it real. Yeah. We're gonna get the cussing and all the yeah, references we need all that we enjoy from Ted, you know what I'm saying? And that yeah. we love from Self McFarlane. But now, based on the trailer, cause you know we are doing a trailer reaction. Yeah. Is this enough that you saw in that trailer to make you really want to watch all seven episodes of Ted, talk to us. I was a little worried because you know Max, Max is the star. Max, Max Burkholder. I know. I really hope Max. He playing Young Mark. Uh, yeah, I. You know, he playing yeah, Young Mark. Yeah, and he that means he the co-star of this. He, and I don't know if he can quite yeah. carry us throughout the seven episodic and, uh, adventures yeah, of Ted. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't know. And you know he's a young actor, so we gonna give yeah. him. A, you know we gonna give I'm him a, a chance. Gonna, I'm gonna give 
Yeah, we gonna give them a chance, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But we also yeah. must talk about the fact there were plenty of young actors yeah, out here that had cliche and you know what I'm saying yeah. that had a resume out yeah. here that you know what I'm saying could have add value to yeah. this because you know right now it's very it's it's feeling like it's hard Seth is gonna have to do a lot of the heavy lifting on this project. Yeah. Okay, you know what I'm saying? He gonna be working a lot, doing yeah. a lot of voiceovers because when it comes down to the marketing of this, you got the bell and that's it. Okay, because yeah, those the real actors ain't gonna make you watch this. Looking at the trailer, you know, I don't know how much, you know, this uh, yeah, yeah. See, was in the budget. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Because uh, you know, a lot of this was house shots. I mean, you know, you know it's said in 1993. As you said, it, it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? And Peacock, Peacock, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 that money, that money, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa. okay, that, that money, that money over there. You Strike know what I'm saying? That from the video. Yeah, because you know how YouTube gets so. It came out a little. Yeah, okay, so. The, but but Peacock and ain't Peacock. Yeah, put, put the P in front of, pushing P in front of the cock. Okay, so let, let, we just got to talk about that. They, they, they put some money into it because you know it takes a lot to do all of this design and stuff when you're yeah, making up a character yeah, putting them with real lot. people okay yeah. so now based off the trailer reaction all right then we gave y'all the plot and yeah. we kind of broke down where the prequel and where it's coming from and the yeah. success of the first two movies mm -hmm. on the scale of zero to five gavel slaves okay zero Ooh. being you ain't interested in this at all five being you're super excited about this where are you in terms of your excitement to watch ted the tv series on peacock uh, uh, based on what i saw trailer, mm -hmm. you know the trailer didn't do it didn't it didn't get me as excited they as moved. I had hoped. They moved. It didn't move me. But I am a fan of Ted the Bell. Yes. And I am a fan of Mark. Yeah. I am but he ain't in it. Yeah, so. I am familiar with this though. I do know what I am going to get. Yeah. Uh I do trust Seth. I'ma hold on to that. Yeah. And so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and give it about one and a half okay. gavel slams because uh and that's that's being that's that's being fair. I, I believe that that's being fair. Yeah. I'm like you. I would have loved to have seen Mark in this. Yeah. If Mark had did this I as a busy series, man. He very busy. But yeah. if that check was big enough, get what? He yeah. put it on the schedule. Okay. So somebody ain't want to pay my boy. Now, because we got to talk about the value of Mark. Yeah. Now, Mark was able to take the Transformer he series. Bus to the seat. He brings Bust to the seat. Now, Mark was able to take the Transformer series. Remember, it ain't here to hide with yeah. Wicked. Now, yeah. after they play with Wicked, yeah. we was in that thing. We was, you know what I'm saying, with the Wicked and the Blicky. We was that, okay? Yeah. And then Mark got it. He wasn't able to take it to them heights, but he was able to give us a stable Transformers experience. Yeah. Let's just keep it real. Transformers ain't been transforming us the same way since he ain't been around. Well, I'm just saying, I'm saying, now, I'm just saying because you know when they did the beast and all it. Yeah. Hey, hey, man, we, the people spoke. We said peace on the beast. We didn't need the beast. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I so did. now Mark brings value to projects is what I'm trying to get people to understand. So for me, on a scale of zero to five gavel slams, you said one and a half. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give this up. One slam for me, and the reason why I'm giving one is off the strength of Seth McFarlane. Yeah. Again, he has given us all type of great shows. He, he gave us Family Guy, record. got a great track record. Yeah. He gave us Family Guy, gave us American Dad, gave us the Cleveland Show. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind to have some type of reboot of those of some sort. Okay, but also. We got to talk about he gave us stuff like Orville. Okay, now I know, see, I know Orville. I know Red Bottom, Red, yeah, I but I don't, say, I don't the, know the, the Orville they did on shows was on Fox. Said, what, what? It was in space. Who was and he, he was in it for real. I don't know. He it. wasn't voicing stuff. He was himself as an actor. And he mixed. Okay, yeah. so, you know, you know. He do a lot of theatrics. He does do musical know? type of things. And we had our conversation about musicals in the color purple. If you haven't watched that video, go check that one out. Yeah. Okay, so for me, I got to give this one gavel slam because I am going to check this out, okay? I do think that this is a project that has yeah, value for us watch. to it watch it, okay? Yeah. It's yeah. included in your Peacock, all right? So go and ahead. That's it, folks. That, that's if you got Peacock, man. If you don't got Peacock, I don't know that this is the project that yeah, make you pay the sure. I don't know. Stand. Plus, you only get seven episodes, and if they yeah. give us two the first week, that's only five more, that's only five more weeks, so I don't know, okay? But now it's time for us to hear from y'all, okay? Y'all yeah. let us know down in the comment section, how are you feeling about Ted the TV show? Do you think they should have did another movie of this, Ted 3, and make sure they had Mark? Should they have put black actors in terms of it, okay? Should we have reboot, you know what I'm saying, and put a little you, you know what I'm saying, on people who look like me and you, yeah. you know, okay? Again, so should we get a Ted 3, the movie? Is the TV show going to give us what we want? 
Or should they just leave Ted alone? Because when we're talking about money, it's been decreasing. You know what I'm saying? But Ted have I'm made that bread. Ted have made that bread. So we want to hear from y'all. Y'all go down to that comment section. Let us know your opinions and your feelings. I think we're going to actually watch this show. Yeah. We'll come back and do a review to see if we were right in terms of our expectation, what mm -hmm. we thought based on the trailer. And then we'll actually do a review on it. And we just want to say a special thank you to those of you who out there have been watching and Hi, clicking and sharing. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate that. Coming on. You see what I'm saying? We're on our Way to that little plastic plaque, you know what yeah. I'm saying? That little plastic YouTube plaque in the yeah. deal, you know what I'm saying? My fool around get a dollar off you, you know what I'm saying? You know, we keep the lights on around this thing. Anywho, that's enough for me and you. We appreciate y'all.